post prison. That's what we call it. It's our ministry to the formerly incarcerated. So we continue to look to build relationships once they're released with those who we started building relationships inside the jail. For many of you, you may be watching this video and you grew up in a Christian home. You grew up in a Christian family and you went to church once a week and you see the witness of a Christian. Well, many of our men, they don't have any Christian influence. They didn't grow up in a Christian home. They didn't grow up in a Christian family. So they don't have any experience in what it looks like to be a Christian. So we know that it is essential that these men are connected with fellow believers. And so we, we are that first point of contact for many of them. So we look to stay connected with them. We meet with them uh, once a week, have lunch, talk about life, sharing God's word. That is a primary form of discipleship in our post-prison ministry program. But then we also have this very cool part of what we do. It is, it's very exciting, very cool, and it is very powerful. We have a vocational trades program for those who are formerly incarcerated. Currently, right now, we're really focusing on welding. Welding has just been one of those industries where men can continue to find work and their backgrounds are not an issue. Our welding program is a 20 week training program. It's free of charge. The class meets five days a week. For us, it is our opportunity to continue to disciple these men. So we have a Bible study every day of our class. And then twice a month, we meet for mentoring. where we have trained mentors who on two Saturdays a month, they gather together with us. One Saturday, we eat a breakfast and we talk about life, uh, what's in the news and, 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 and what we need to pray for. And then another Saturday, we go out and we find a project, um, something good to do where we can get involved and give it back to the community. And this has just been a really good way to have our students who are the formerly incarcerated connect with other men in the community and continue to build relationships. It's, it's our credit through that that we'll see mentorship happen, we'll see discipleship happen, and it's phenomenal.